Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll have a first look at the latest version of Android that is known as Android N. And Google just released this and uh, this is a developer preview. That means uh, it's sort of beta, so don't install it on your device if it's your primary device. Uh, and I'll also compare it. This is my Nexus 6P. It's still running the Android older version. That's Android Marshmallow, but uh, now we have this Android N. Uh, officially, we don't know the name uh, yet. And there were a lot of comments on the net that uh, Google will get rid of the app tray that is still there, as you can see. First, let me show you uh, the Android version. And as you can see, the notifications have changed a lot. Uh, uh, you actually can interact with the notifications if the app supports you can directly reply from here again you can expand it and stuff and another thing that you'll notice is that we have this quick toggles over here within the notification uh, that was not the case uh, with android marshmallow as you can see these were the notifications and also the layout has changed a little bit it gives us a lot more info uh, so i like this this is a third party app that i'm using but looks like with android and you don't have to use that uh, so let's just go back and let's go to all the settings. These are the uh, quick settings, but we have paints. As you can see, we have pages over here. So you have a lot more options regarding the quick settings. You can always click this and edit it. That's functionality is there. Let's just go back and let me actually show you the Android version that we have. And if we go to uh, about the phone, as you can see, it just says Android N. Uh, it does not specify uh, what it is called Android Nutella, Nan Khatai, whatnot. So we don't have a name yet. As you can see, it just says N. So moving back, uh, one of the biggest changes that I've noticed is that we now have a split screen multitasking finally with this Android N. Uh, for example, let me demonstrate that. For example, let's open this app. This is my Twitter uh, account. And if you just hold on this multitasking app for a while, for a second, as you can see, you get this tray over here. And from here, you can actually uh, pin any app. For example, let's open up uh, this Google Play Store. So this is uh, the split screen view and you have that functionality to uh, adjust it. And it also works in this orientation. So this is pretty cool, I would say. I would say it's not working perfectly. Uh, sometimes the apps do crash, but again, it's an early beta preview. Uh, the good thing is now natively as you can see it crashed we can just restart the app again as i've told you this is a uh, early uh, developer preview uh, and let's say you want to get out of this you want to make twitter the full screen just swipe like this and you're back so we have that functionality it works uh, well again this will obviously improve and the compatibility will improve a lot and if you just click like this, it works. And for example, like this. And another good thing that I have noticed is that if you have a compatible Nexus device, a particularly new Nexus device, uh, you can actually get this Android N preview via a OTA update. And I got it via o OTA update. I didn't have to flash it. It's very easy to do that if you want. For example, uh, this is the link. As you can see, you have to just log in uh, and participate in this Android beta program with your Google login and it'll detect what Android devices you have and it'll show you the compatible devices. For example, it showed me that my Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P are eligible for this uh, Android and beta program. And if you enroll your device, you will simply get an OT update. And that's how actually I got the update. Let me actually show you, I saved some screenshots and as you can see, uh, system update, I got it via a OTA update. So that functionality is there, which was very interesting. You could get the OTA, uh, this actual updates without flashing via OTA updates. And as you can see, it says clearly says that it's a beta program. So just don't install this on your primary phone because I have noticed some bugs here and there. So it's if you have a device lying around definitely try it out and another thing apart from the multitasking is in the notification as i told you the layout has changed we have this quick toggles and from here directly if you press this you can go to your settings for example wi-fi and stuff like that and uh, if you go to uh, further settings over here uh, again i have noticed that the font throughout the uh, android has changed a little bit it's uh, i would say the size is a little bit smaller that i've noticed for example on the nexus 6p let me show you the settings pane and as you can see uh, it's uh, lost lot compressed 
so they are using a smaller font by default that's what i have noticed it looks cool another thing that i have noticed is that if you just swipe from here that is uh, from the left you get access to this so you can quickly move between one area to the other area like this so that is also uh, there again uh, we saw that we have the system tuner functionality with android m and now they have added some more options also on this uh, android uh, uh, in and if we go to status bar obviously you can toggle these notifications uh, that is still there but uh, in this uh, color and uh, appearances options we have this new mode called night mode and if you toggle it it does not work properly every time it's a little bit buggy as i told you but it should uh, go into the dark theme mode ideally as i told you it's a little bit on the buggy side as you can see it's still when it works it just inverts uh, let's use this dark theme and uh, come on come on work as as i told you it's again a uh, sort of uh, early preview uh, but it worked once for me so that option is also there and uh, so i would say a very good uh, upgrade again uh, they they haven't changed the basic ui many people were thinking that uh, the app tray would go and even the launcher hasn't changed that much it's the same google launcher that we saw earlier so it's the same widgets are the same it's like this this hasn't changed as you saw the animation is a little bit choppy but again as it's a uh, early preview uh, so overall i would say this is a nice uh, upgrade and finally we are getting the uh, split view multitasking with android n and Google has also hinted that uh, they will be adding features more to this Android N. Actually, the Google I.O. is in May. So expect a lot of updates till that time. So guys, that's it for now for this very quick look at Android N. And do let me know in the comments what are the features that you liked. And if you have a Nexus device, did you give it a try? Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.